हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू नारायण पी यू कॉलेज ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कॉम्पिटेटिव ऑफ आल्कोहल फिनाल्स एंड एथर सो यस्टर्डे वी हेव कंप्लीटेड अप टू द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी हियर द रिएक्शन ऑफ एक्वा सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड ऑन एथाइल ब्रोमाइड एंड टू क्लोरो बेंजीन गिवस आर क्लोरो बेंजीन गिवस क्लियर द फर्स्ट वन इज हियर एथाइल ब्रोमाइड वॉट इज द फार्मुला ऑफ एथाइल ब्रोमाइड यू ऑलरेडी नो वॉट इज द फार्मुला सी हेच थ्री सी हेच टू बी आर दिस इज द एथाइल ब्रोमाइड क्लियर सी आर यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट सी टू हेच फाइव बी आर एंड ट्रीटेड विथ एक्वास यू नो दिस इज एक्वास सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड एन ए ओ हेच सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड क्लियर यू आलरेडी नो दैट वेन अवर आलकाइल हेलैट्स रियाक्टेड विथ द एक्वास सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड आर पोटाशियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड यू विल गेट द कांपउंड इज सब्सटिट्यूशन प्रोडक्ट क्लियर सब्सटिट्यूशन प्रोडक्ट मीन वॉट इट इज ब्रोमिन इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बै द न्यूक्लोफाइल दट इज ओ हेच माइनस एन ए प्लस एंड ओ हेच माइनस सो वॉट द कांपउंड यू विल गेट न्यूक्लोफिलिक सब्सटिट्यूशन रियाक्शन सी हेच थ्री सी हेच टू ओ हेच प्लस वॉट यू विल गेट एन ए बी आर एन ए बी आर क्लियर दट इज एंड नेक्स्ट वन क्लोरो बेंजीन गिवस यू नो दट ही आर क्लोरो बेंजीन एंड इफ यू टेक हियर क्लोरो बेंजीन ट्रीटेड विथ एक्वस एन ए ओ हेच एक्वस एन ए ओ हेच क्लियर विल द रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस नो वाई बिकॉज यू नो दैट दिस इज टू रिएक्ट बिकॉज दिस बॉन्ड इज ए नॉट ए सिंगल वन बिकॉज यू नो दैट हियर क्लोरिन इज हैविंग लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड इट इज कॉन्जुगेटेड विथ द डबल बॉन्ड्स ऑफ बेंजिन रिंग्स लोन पेयर ऑफ क्लोरिन एंड कॉन्जुगेटेड विथ डबल बॉन्ड ऑफ बेंजिन रिंग दे इन्वॉल्व इन द रेजुनेंस वेन दे इन्वॉल्व इन द रेजुनेंस यू नो दैट हियर वॉट हैपन एंड डबल सिंगल बॉन्ड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू डबल बॉन्ड मीन्स दिस कार्बन एंड क्लोरिन बॉन्ड इज नॉट अ सिंगल बॉन्ड इट इज ए पार्शियली डबल बॉन्ड वेन पार्शियली डबल बॉन्ड एट नॉर्मल कंडीशन देर इज नो रिएक्शन there is no reaction but the reaction takes place when dose process we have discussed what it is you have to take the naoh concentrate then you have to maintain 623 kelvin then you have to maintain 3 atmospheric 320 atmospheric pressure then only the reaction takes place but they have given simply aqueous naoh so that's why no reaction so that's why your option should be option 4 but uh, answers you see Uh, they have given wrong question number you know 30 they have given two ethyl alcohol and ortho chlorophenol that is wrong so you correct that one 30th question answer is four first one ethyl alcohol and second one no reaction this reaction when it will takes place if you they maintain if we maintain the condition naoh and 623 kelvin and 320 atmospheric pressure then only the reaction takes place if you they don't give all these things and the reaction will not takes place so you correct it answers next one yeah. <coughs> 31 first 31 question you see rmg rmgbr you know grignard reagent on reaction with excess of oxygen followed by hydrolysis this is also important question you see now rmgx what is rmgx you already know that R M G X is a Grignard reagent. Now it is reacted with excess of oxygen. You know, reacted with oxygen means what we can write O two. Shall I write in this way O two? And followed by hydrolysis gives. You know that here when this bond breaks and you know magnesium get the positive charge and alkyl group get the negative charge. So that's why it acts as a nucleophile. and now it will attack here and this bond will move double bond will convert into single bond the bond pair electrons move towards the oxygen then what the product you will get r here oxygen is getting minus and here bond takes place between the r and o because it is donating electron and a single bond double bond is converted into single bond here on the oxygen oxygen this oxygen is gaining electron gaining electron means negative charge and here positive charge there will be a mgx clear and if you do the hydrolysis here then what will happen you see 
do the hydrolysis this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge partial positive and partial negative because you know metals always electro positive positive and two it is positive means oxygen should have negative because oxygen is more electro negative so that's why water molecule means h plus and oh minus positive negative bond negative positive bond so break this bond and put h here and oh here then what you are getting you see r o o h what we will call these are peroxides these are peroxide actually this should be the answer but in the option peroxide not given so peroxides are unstable because you know and two oxygen atoms are connected with the bond single bond here you know lone pair lone pair repulsion so it is you know it is very very unstable so immediately what happened here this bond breaks in presence of you know water hydrolysis one h will be added here another h will be added another oh will be added to this oh group then what you will get r oh plus oh and oh already oh is there one h is break this bond breaks one h is to oxygen oh is there and oh and you know oh this is what we will call H2O2 hydrogen peroxide but what you are getting here we are getting alcohol so this is the final product in this one okay so this is about the question number 31 you know what is the answer now answer up for up option 4 is the correct one clear so this is the 31st question next one 32 <coughs> see the 32 the reaction between an ester and excess of Grignard reagent, I already mentioned. Clear? Whenever acid derivatives, mainly what are the acid derivatives here? Acid chlorides, esters and acid anhydride. Amide is also there, but it will not react with the Grignard reagent. Means how remaining uh, acid, um, what is acid derivatives, how they react? acid amide will not react in that way that i also i will explain here clear you know that acid derivatives acid derivatives acid derivatives means acid mainly acid chloride acid chloride you know ester and another one is what it is acid anhydride very very important this is again again i am writing all that means every time i am writing this is so these three whenever they reacted with the Grignard reagent RMZX excess amount excess amount what is the product here tertiary alcohol if only one mole of RMZX means excess amount if you take tertiary alcohol if you take here one mole then you will get the ketones this is the important points to be noted clear so this is now they are asking here question number 32 the reaction between an ester and excess Grignard reagent and shall finally result primary alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol and ketone see here excess amount tertiary alcohol if not excess only it is rmgx they mentioned one mole if they mentioned then what the product here ketone so what is your answer is tertiary alcohol directly or otherwise you see how to write this is r c double bond o uh, what they have given ester ester means o r clear so first of all r m g x i already said how to write the products when r m g x reacted with the acid anhydride first if chlorine is there chlorine you have to remove and o, uh, ester group o r is there o r will be removed first what will happen it attack here and this one will go directly i am writing actually first it will go the uh, this electrons towards the oxygen and again it comes again it will go directly i am writing here because in the po i have discussed very clearly so now what you will get r double bond o and r and o r minus clear then what you are getting here ketone you are getting ketone or not yes and excess amount means another rmgx so how to write the product and one R should be attached to the carbon and double bond O should be converted into OH. That is the final product R and C OH. Here R is there. Another R comes here. This is the final product. So which alcohol you are getting? Tertiary alcohol. So important this is remember. Clear? So that is the 
question number 32 so what is the answer here your answer is 3 3 is the correct one tertiary alcohol and the next one 33 i already mentioned this one in the pu uh, when i uh, pu class also i have mentioned already you just go through if you want so the compound 33 the compound that will react most readily with NaOH to form methanol most readily to form methanol so now here what it is their option first they have given here N CH3 and CH3 CH3 and CH3 plus I minus this is I minus clear and in the same way they have given here CH3O CH3 and the same sulfur also they have given CH3 and here CH3 CH3 positive charge iodine and third one they have fourth one they have given here tertiary butyl chloride this is last one CH3 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 and here CL clear so NaOH to which one react very fast to give the methanol methanol means now it is naoh means what it is oh minus to get a methanol it has to attack on which one here ch3 then ch3 and oh you will get a ch3 oh then this group will be removed that is the how to get the methanol from this reaction clear and now to OH minus to attack here then this group should live when this group will live easily if it is a very good living group then only when OH is attack on CH3 this group will remove you know that whenever N plus is there nitrogen on, on the nitrogen positive charge is there you know it is very good living group compared to oxygen and sulfur and here carbon so that's why whenever OH attack on the CH3 and it is a very good living group and it takes the electrons towards it and it removes as a one you will get here CH3 OH and nitrogen is gaining electron already nitrogen is having positive charge and gaining electron means it gets negative charge charge will be neutralized you will get NCH3 and CH3 and here what you will get CH3 so that's why OH in which compound react very fast means in the first compound because when OH attack on this and leaving group should be it, it should leave very fast then only OH can attack very fast on the CH3 so that's why your answer is here option 1 clear so this is about question number 33 quaternary ammonium iodide it react very fast here with the which one here OH minus ion so here quaternary ammonium salt is there so I will discuss here Hoffman elimination clear Hoffman elimination and stage of that I have already discussed in the halo alkanes and halo aliens. if you want you go and uh, see the video clear but here simply I will say why because here tertiary ammonium uh, iodide they have given compound so that's why Hoffman elimination you know that here Hoffman's elimination I just explained what is the Hoffman elimination clear so according to the Hoffman elim elimination means you know and molecules will be removed means atoms should be removed from the you know molecule clear so elimination means your product will get alkene in the elimination alkenes are the products but here whenever alkenes are products you know and they follow set of rule so whenever alkene is forming and it follows set of rule why because which alkene because there is a chance to form more than two alkenes then they has to follow the set of rule according to the set of rule you already know more substituted alkenes are more stable and major products but Hoffman elimination means less substituted alkenes are major products less <coughs> substituted alkenes are <coughs> major product alkenes are major products 
major products clear so when we have two cancer suppose i will uh, take one compound ch3 and here ch3h and uh, another one it will be there ch2 and cl i will write and here i am writing ch3 clear now i will take here tertiary sodium tertiary butoxide and what is the formula here ch3 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 and ona ona means o minus and na plus tertiary butoxide sodium tertiary butoxide now what happened here and sodium tertiary butoxide is a very bulky one whenever means you know here on the oxygen negative charge is there on the oxygen whenever negative charge is there it can act as a nucleophile can also act as a base but due to this bulkiness it cannot attack here as a nucleophile it cannot act as a nucleophile because here already big groups are there and one group is isopropyl group is there one group is methyl group is there <coughs> so that's why it cannot attack on the carbon easily so that's why it cannot act as a nucleophile in this case then if they cannot act as a nucleophile and it will not sit very calm it act as a what it is now base when they act as a base you already know base what it will do it accept the proton it accept the proton from where from less substituted means less crowd less steric endurance now here you know elimination always takes place from which one from the beta hydrogen has to be removed and chlorine from alpha carbon and here two beta carbon two beta carbon atoms are there here beta hydrogens are there here also beta hydrogens are there clear so that's why and remove here any one of the hydrogen but you know it is a bulky and so that's why it is a less steric hindered hydrogen but here this is a steric because another ch3 groups are there here so that's why what you will get and base accept the proton from less steric endurance and this bond will come here chlorine will be removed then what the compound you will get ch3 ch3 and here ch and you will get ch double bond ch2 what it is less substituted alkene this is if hydrogen is removed here what you will get ch3 and ch3 double bond and ch ch2 it is more substituted 1 2 and here 3 total 3 substituents are there and here 1 2 and this is not a substituent here this is only one substituent is there here that is what it is ch3 see here this is only one substituent and here hydrogen hydrogen we never consider as a substituent so that's why here only one substituent but this is the major and this is the which one here minor this is the which one here minor clear so whenever base is bulky then always you will get the off man elimination product off man elimination product means less substituted alkenes are the major product this is set job product clear more substituted alkenes are the major products and now here in the elimination sometimes what happen takes place in the quaternary ammonium salts also you know that here ch3 and here ch2 ch3 and i will take another compound here ch2 ch2 ch3 and here there is a ch3 and plus and there is a oh minus ion r you can say here iodide because here i minus ion is there clear then what it is quaternary ammonium salt four are there quaternary ammonium salt we will treat it this one with the ag2o you know moist ag2o then i minus will be replaced by oh then you will get the compound is here ch3 and you know ch2 ch3 and here ch2 ch2 ch3 and you will get here ch3 and positive instead of i minus what you will get oh minus ag i will be removed and oh will be added because moist ag2o means what it will form ag oh will form ag i and oh will be added here clear now you see in this case and you know elimination reaction takes place quaternary ammonium salt this is carbon alpha carbon this is alpha carbon alpha functional group attached what is the functional group here nitrogen functional group attached to carbon we will consider as a alpha carbon alpha carbon attached to carbon we will consider as a beta carbon 
नाव ओ एच हेज टू रिमूव द हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम हियर आर हियर इट रिमूव द ओ एच हाइड्रोजन ओ एच रिमूव द हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम हियर वाई बिकॉज हियर सम बल्कि ग्रुप इज देर सो दैट्स वाई हियर सी एच टू एंड वॉट आई कैन राइट हियर हाइड्रोजन ओ एच एंड इट टेक्स द एच प्लस आई एन वाटर विल बी रिमूव एंड दिस विल कम हियर एंड दिस विल गो दिस साइड less substituted alkenes are coming if hydrogen is removed from here you know more substituted because you know here less substituted you will get the compound is ch2 double bond ch2 plus n here what is there ch3 ch3 and ch2 ch2 ch3 this is the product less substituted alkenes are getting or not that is clear and also if all groups are here methyl that is only the case we have discussed now here methyl methyl here also four groups are methyl then there is no beta hydrogen to remove so that's why oh here directly attack on ch3 you got the methanol that's why i mentioned it. clear so this is about the question number what it is 33 now we will go for question number 34 see the question number 34 clear when 2 ethyl anthraquinol this is the formula 2 ethyl anthraquinol means oh oh this is 2 ethyl anthraquinol 2 ethyl anthraquinol dissolved in a benzene and cyclohexanol is oxidized and here it is soluble in benzene and cyclohexanol it is oxidized this compound is followed by oxidized it is solvents they have given and also oxidation then what the compound you will get you know this is oxidation means you know these are which one here alcohol secondary alcohol oxidation of second alcohol you have to get which one ketone means what the compound you should get here you should get the compound is here this is double bond o and double bond o and here c2 h5 clear so this is the benzene ring and this is the benzene ring so what happened here two hydrogens are removed because you see here oh oh and here double bond o and double bond o so what happened here h and h are removed and here which one is there o2 is there h2 and o2 they combined it gives the h2 o2 this is the answer clear so this is the oxidation of you know simply secondary alcohol you will get the ketones here and two hydrogens left in the presence of oxidation done in presence of oxygen so these two hydrogens combined with the oxygen you will get the hydrogen peroxide is a answer but in the in your uh, means in answers they have given in this book answer they have given ethanol is the product ethanol is not the product so what is the product here hydrogen peroxide second option is the correct one clear it is so next one 35 question number 35 you correct that answer so answer is here option 2 is the correct one but uh, they mentioned here option 1 that is wrong clear next one 35 i already discussed go for the 36 question question number 36 identify the final product b in the following sequence of the reaction so reaction they have given here ch3 and ch3 double bond ch2 alkene they have given and they mentioned here concentrate h2so4 concentrate h2so4 and 0 degree centigrade concentrate h2so4 what it is 0 degree you know and addition reaction takes place here and double bond is there concentrated h2so4 h plus and so4 so which addition it is alkene involved in the electrophilic addition reaction so that's why h2so4 means h plus and so4 minus follows the which rule here markovnikov rule clear when markovnikov rule negatively charged ion attack at the double bonded carbon where the number of hydrogens are less so that's why this is the compound you will get c ch3 ch3 and here so4 h, uh, h plus and so4 minus 
so here water molecule will be removed and then you will get SO3H clear H plus and SO4 minus and you will get the what it is CH3 clear then what the compound you will get and next what they have mentioned here methanol C2H5OH clear C2H5OH clear when C2H5OH it is a nucleophile and here SO4 will be there and it is a what is a nucleophile you know it is a very good living group and attack here then what will happen and HSO4 minus will come and it will take the H plus H2SO4 then you will get the compound is C CH3 and CH3 you know OC2 H5 plus what you will get H2SO4 and here H and O will be removed and you will get the compound is what it is here H2SO4 will be removed. So, your answer is here. Option 3 is the correct one. So, next question. Question number 37. So, we have already discussed this type of questions in the PU part only. See, the question is uh, ether they have given and HI. You know, cleavage of ethers. So, I already mentioned cleavage of ethers. So, what you have to follow, which methods you have to follow and see the ether, if any tertiary group is there, then alkyl iodide or alkyl halide always formed with the, you know, tertiary group. You will get the alkyl halides are tertiary alkyl halides, clear? If there is no tertiary group, then the halide formed always with the smaller alkyl group. That is only the concept we have already discussed but you see here there is a tertiary group when tertiary group is there and iodides will formed as a tertiary alkyl iodides only means bond breaks here and here to the oxygen always H and to this you have to add the iodine then what the compound you will get CH3 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 iodine plus what you will get alcohol ethyl alcohol follows which mechanism i already mentioned sn1 sn1 mechanism means carbocation is the intermediate and if this bond breaks towards oxygen primary carbocation if this bond breaks here tertiary carbocation tertiary carbocation is more stable so that's why and tertiary carbocation positive charge on the carbon i minus positive and minus there will be a bond that is just you have to see in the ether is there any tertiary group or benzyl group is present if there is no tertiary and benzyl group and iodides always formed with the smaller alkyl group clear that is the question number 37 so your answer should be here uh, see the option 2 is the correct one clear so option 2 is the correct one next one question number 38 and see this is important and they have given here epoxide substituted epoxide they have given and here C and O this is the epoxide and what they have mentioned here H2O H2O and 18 clear so they have mentioned here because oxygen is there so which oxygen to identify and on the oxygen there is a 18 isotope oxygen 18 here clear so now and also they mentioned here H plus acidic medium clear then what is the product A what is the product here you know that here H plus they have given and here which one is there oxygen and oxygen having the lone pair of electron so that's why it donates the lone pair of electron first to H plus electrophile then what the compound you will get and C and oxygen is donating electron so that's why it acquires the positive charge and making the bond with the which one hydrogen clear now what happened here the bond this and here two bonds are there you know that on the oxygen if positive charge is there it is a unstable so it will gain the electron from nearby so that's why and there is a chance of breaking of this bond or there is a chance of breaking of this bond so here suppose it is a and it is b for a then what happened you see if bond a breaks because oxygen is more alternative it takes electron towards it then what happen you see ch3 and here ch3 and you know here bond breaks means on this carbon there will be a oh and here on this carbon oh and here there is a you know 
uh, CH present here because here carbon they have written, hydrogens they have not written, you have to assume and here there will be a CH2. There will be a which one here? CH2. They have given CH2 here, I have not written. So CH2 on the carbon which one will be there? Positive charge. If this bond breaks, then what the compound you will get? And C, CH3, bond B and bond A. Bond A breaks, this is the intermediate. And bond B breaks, then what happened? This bond breaks and you will get the compound is CH2 and OH on this carbon which positive charge will be there because this bond breaks bond electron moves towards highly electronegative atom oxygen is gaining electron this carbon is losing electron losing electron means with charge positive charge gaining electron means with charge negative charge already oxygen is having positive neutralize this is the now you see this is primary carbocation and it is a you know tertiary carbocation so which is more stable here tertiary so that's why it is formed it is formed and now and water molecule will be added here h2o 18 they have given oxygen is there here it donates the lone pair of electrons to positive charge and donates and making a bond then what the compound you will get you see ch3 and here there is a ch3 and here to this oxygen o18 and h and h and the oxygen is having the charge the positive charge and now ch2 oh clear so now what happened you see oxygen positive charge so one of the bond breaks and it moves electrons towards the oxygen then h plus will be removed you will get the compound is ch3 and ch3 and here oh o means here which you avoid 18 oh and here ch2 oh this is the major product this is the major product if water is attacked here you will get the this is the minor product ch3 and here what you will get ch3 and oh here and ch2 oh this is minor product this is minor product and this is major product why this is major product because here tertiary carbocation is formed and here primary carbocation is formed so that's why your option should be here what is the your answer see the answers here and you will get the option one is the correct one clear so whenever acidic medium is there carbocation is the intermediate same question they may give in this way also and next question uh, see the question number here 39 question number previous i have already mentioned the question they have given like this ch3 and ch3 and here there is a ch2 and o and they have given h2o and 18 and h plus whenever it is in acidic medium carbocation will be first it is protonated oxygen is protonated then the bond breaks and which carbocation is stable and that bond breaks here if this bond breaks you are getting tertiary carbocation if this bond breaks you are getting primary carbocation so which bond favors to break here this bond favors to break when when it is in acidic medium same question they may give in this way also CH3, CH3 and CH2 and here directly OH- nucleophile without giving any uh, acidic medium here. Then what it is, it follows SN2 mechanism, it follow what it is, SN2 mechanism means nucleophile this is, nucleophile has to attack on this carbon or this carbon, you see two carbons are there, here this carbon is it is free there is no bulky groups but this carbon there is a bulky groups so oh2 attack here so this ch3 groups are will not allow the nucleophile to attack on this carbon because it is bulky but it is not bulky so that's why what happened here oh attack here and this bond electrons will move towards the oxygen then what the compound you will get you see different compound ch3 and ch3 and here O minus and you will get the CH2 OH in the next step if you add H plus ion then O minus and H plus you will get the compound is here you know OH and here CH2 OH this is the compound clear so H plus is there carbocation intermediate forms OH minus is there SN2 mechanism it is a SN1 mechanism SN1 in acidic medium and 
you know epoxide cleavage involves the sn1 mechanism in basic medium cleavage of epoxide involves the sn2 mechanism where the less bulkier oh will be attacked here but when acidic medium and which carbocation majorly forms means that major means more stable carbocation where it forms that bond will break this very important question you have to remember clear this is question number what it is 38 so question number 39 see the question number 39 what is the question here they have given alkene and treated this one with the first step is you know mercuric acetate and followed by ch3oh clear and then you will get some compound and treated with sodium borohydrate what is the product product is they are asking what is the reaction have you remembered this one oxymercuration and demercuration have you remembered or not yes oxymercuration and demercuration what is the final product we will write in the oxymercuration and demercuration add the water according to the marconi of rule that is the final product we will get in this what it is mercuration oxymercuration and demercuration but remember there what i have given you see you have to just identify here first one i given hcg and here mercuric acetate and next i have given here water and second step i mentioned sodium borohydrate it is a first mercuration then demercuration mercury is removed by the sodium borohydrate then and i said here write the product according to the addition of water according to the marconi of rule add the water here h plus and oh minus according to the which one marconi of rule oh will be added at the less carbon double bonded carbon with the less number of hydrogen and oh will be added here h will be added here then this is oh and here h ch3 but you see I have given here water but what they have given here CH3OH if I give water directly add the water to the alkene according to the Marconi of rule you will get the product but I have not given in this case they have not given water here they have given which one methanol they have given which one here methanol so that's why now whatever it may be they give and now what you have to do mercuric acetate and what they have given here methanol now add the methanol to this alkene according to the marconi of rule so now you know methanol how it will be dissociated ch3o minus plus h plus this is the polar compound and it will be converted into ch3o minus and h plus now this is you know here one hydrogen is there but here how many hydrogens are there two hydrogens are there follow marconi of rule according to the marconi of rule the negatively charged ion attack the double bonded carbon where the number of hydrogens are less so hydrogen will be added here then what the compound you will get and here to this carbon there will be a och3 and to this carbon already ch2 h h is there then here h h and another h that we will simply we can write this compound as OCH3 and here also which one CH3 this is the product clear remember whenever oxymercuration and demercuration is there and I have mentioned I have taken solvent is a water so that's why I said the final product you have to write addition of water to the alkene according to the Marconi of rule but instead of water if they give any other solvent and methanol they have given so that's why add the methanol to the alkene according to the marconi of rule that is the final product yeah now question number 40 see what the question they have given methyl tertiary butyl ether this is the methyl tertiary butyl ether is added in gasoline to improve its octane number that you have already studied what is the octane number in the first year now which of the following is the best method for the synthesis of above ether synthesis of what it is above ether you know that williamson's ether synthesis we have already discussed clear so ethers are mainly prepared by the what it is which method williamson's ether synthesis and you have to remember that one point williamson's ether synthesis follows the sn2 mechanism 
clear s n 2 mechanism means always alkyl halide should be less bulkier clear so based on that you have to see here four options they have given the first one is you know best method for this one is what it is williamson's ether synthesis what are the reactants in the williamson's ether synthesis one is the alkyl halide and another one is the sodium alkoxide all oxides clear so i can divide here i can prepare this compound by taking in two ways one is i will write here ch3ch3 i will break bond here then this is ch3 i will write here o minus that is a na plus because you have to take this and halide is this i will take ch3cl this is one method suppose if i break the bond here then i will get ch3o minus plus r take what it is na plus because i have to take sodium alkoxide alkyl halide is which one ch3 ch3 this i already discussed in the pu classes clear chlorine clear now in this one which is the best method because ethers synthesis williamson ether synthesis follows which mechanism sn2 sn2 means alkyl halide should be always you know less bulkier methyl chloride primary secondary and tertiary methyl chloride is more reactive then which one primary primary is more reactive than the tertiary alkyl halide tertiary alkyl halide is secondary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide is more reactive than the tertiary alkyl halide so that's why sn2 means you have to take the smaller alkyl halides only so this is the best method but this it is not the good method why because nucleophile has to attack on the carbon it is tertiary you know that tertiary alkyl halides do not involved in the sn2 mechanism so that's why this is the best method so what is your answer is option 3 is the correct one next one 41 question number 41 see the question number 41 methanol ch3 ch2 oh methanol and is treated with x and 350 degree centigrade then you are getting ch2 double bond ch2 plus what you are getting here h2 elimination reaction here and beta hydrogen and here oh from the alpha carbon removed and you are getting here alkene what is the x they are saying nacl csl2 p2o5 and al2o3 clear and you know i already mentioned in the dehydrating agents dehydrating reagents are mainly and h2so4 concentrated h2so4 and second one i mentioned here concentrated h3po4 and third one zn cl2 and the fourth one al2o3 clear see now i only i will here explain if i take ch3 ch2 oh and take the al2o3 al2o3 and maintain here 242 to 250 degree centigrade it is temperature dependent so you will get the compound is ethers ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 take the two molecules here remove the water then you will get the which one ether plus water this is the reaction very important you have to remember in the same way this is we will called as intermolecular dehydration intermolecular dehydration intermolecular which one dehydration dehydration clear now if i take ch3 ch2oh and al2o3 maintain 352 360 degree centigrade then intramolecular dehydrogenation intramolecular intramolecular dehydration dehydration intramolecular dehydration means and water molecule will be removed within the molecule one is oh and you know always elimination takes place from the means hydrogen from the beta carbon and oh is from the alpha carbon then what you will get here ch2 double bond ch2 and plus what you will get h2 this you have remember we can prepare the ethers by using al2o3 and can also be prepared the alkene by using alcohol by al2o3 catalyst but temperature difference 240 to 250 ethers 
350 360 alkenes this is so that's why what is the answer here you have to write x is al2 o3 so your option is here fourth option next one question number 42 clear so what the question just uh, some mistake it is uh, printing mistake is there just uh, recorrect that sodium phenoxide react with O2 they have mentioned it is not O2 CO2 you correct that one CO2 at 400 Kelvin and 4 to 7 atmospheric pressure to give sodium phenoxide you know this is sodium phenoxide this is sodium phenoxide clear and then it is treated with the carbon dioxide at how much temperature 400 kelvin and 4 to 7 atmosphere 400 kelvin and 4 to 7 atmosphere clear it is so uh, this you know sodium phenoxide and carbon dioxide phenol reaction with carbon dioxide what is the reaction we have already discussed coal base reaction have you remembered or not first what we will we have taken phenol phenol is treated with have you remembered that coal base reaction or not take the phenol first phenol is treated with which one na oh then what the compound we got we got the sodium phenoxide and after then we treat this with the carbon dioxide when we treat the carbon dioxide what we got here you got the compound is and oh and coo and a sodium salicylate clear and followed by hydrolysis you will get the compound is salicylic acid oh and co oh this is what it is salicylic acid salicylic acid this is the compound have you remembered this is coal based synthesis but what they have given here is first sodium directly they have given sodium phenoxide treated with the carbon dioxide not further hydrolysis means up to here only so what is the name of this compound sodium salicylate sodium salicylate sodium salicylate this is the answer so first one is your answer option one is the correct one clear so next one the reaction of ethanol with h2so4 does not give reaction of ethanol you know c2h5oh and reaction with concentrate h2so4 i already mentioned and you know concentrate h2so4 means it is a dehydrating agent so if i mentioned here 443 kelvin then what you will get you will get the intramolecular dehydration concentrate h2so4 is act as a powerful dehydrating agent it removes the water molecule how it removes the water molecule you will already know and ch2 i mentioned here h and ch2 oh this is what it is c2 h5 oh ethanol only and remove the water molecule and this is remove the water molecule what you are getting here single bond is converted into double bond and plus what you will get h2o this is intramolecular intramolecular intra means within the molecule dehydration takes place if same molecule would take CH3 CH2 OH and treat this one with same concentrate H2SO4 but 413 Kelvin you take then what do you have to take and here intra intermolecular dehydration means two molecule here CH3 CH2 OH plus OH CH2 CH3 two molecule I have taken 1H and OH remove the water molecule what you are getting CH3 CH2 O and CH2 CH3 clear next one same alcohol you take here ethanol and first of all treat this one with the concentrate H2SO4 and plus here 110 degree centigrade 273 you add so 383 Kelvin you can write here 383 Kelvin first you will get what you will get in this is you will get CH3 CH2 and you know H SO SO3 H clear you will get what you will get here CH3 means ethyl 
bisulfate clear then after then further heating this molecule two molecule of this you will get the compound is ch3 ch2 twice so4 plus h2 so4 clear so that is the molecule you will get it clear so you can get directly diethyl sulfate or you can get here and alkyl hydrogen sulfate clear so that's why you see first one what they have given ethylene ethylene means this is the ethylene next one diethyl ether we are getting diethyl ether ethyl hydrogen sulfate this is ethyl hydrogen sulfate further heating diethyl sulfate you will get it so but what the we cannot prepare here acetylene we cannot prepare so that is the 42 is third option is the correct one next one 44 question question number 44 uh, they are asking the order of stability of carbonium ion carbonium ion means carbocation carbonium ion means which one carbocation so you know the stability order of the carbocation tertiary carbocation is more stable than the secondary than the primary clear so your option should be here first one should come tertiary isopropyl means it is a secondary ethyl means primary and methyl means simple carbocation clear so your option should be two and this is correct answer is option two clear next one question number 45 see this question important so roadmap questions we will call this is a is treated with k2cr2o7 and in dilute acidic medium acidified potassium dichromate and you will get the compound b and b is treated with methyl magnesium iodide gregnod reagent and followed by the hydrolysis you are getting compound is ch3 ch3 and they have mentioned here ch3oh clear then what is the reactant a what is the formula of reactant a clear see this question what you are getting here <coughs> finally you see after reacting with the B reacting with the Grignard reagent, you are getting tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol means, you know, ketones when reacted with the Grignard reagent, you will get the tertiary alcohol. Or, acid derivatives are there, acid chloride, ester, and another one is there, you know, acidic anhydride. When reacted with the Grignard reagent, you will get the what it is here tertiary alcohol. Means B should be ketone or acid derivatives. But you see, in the options, they have not given any acid derivatives here. One is first one is secondary alcohol, second one is ketone, and third one is ethyl alcohol, and fourth one is acid they have given. Clear? So that's why, and B should be which one here? Ketone. What is the B here? B should be ketone clear it is b should be what it is ketone now in this case in this case in the product if you see i already mentioned whenever ketone or whatever it may be ketone or aldehyde is there to that double bonded carbon one ch3 will be added here means one of the ch3 will come from the grignard reagent got my point so means remaining ch3 are ketones only what is the ketone with the two ch3 group CH3 and C double bond O CH3. This is the answer. Clear? So, means the ketone is this. Now, if you take the ketone here, then what happens you see? And you will get the compound is, you know. And now, if you treat this one with the methyl magnesium iodide, treat this one. And I know, and you know how to write the product directly. And here two CH3 groups are there. One CH3 will come from the Grignard reagent and double bond O will be converted into OH. You are getting this product. Clear? Now, and they are asking here, B we got the ketone. But they are asking which one here? A. Means ketone you have to get. And here which one here? Oxidizing agent. It is a which one? Oxidizing agent. And A oxidize you are getting ketone. Means what does it mean? You know here it should be a alcohol, secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol oxidized. You will get which one? Ketone. Means here A should be secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohol means what it is? CH3, CH, OH and here CH3. 
clear ma so this is the a option a means your option is option which one here option one is the correct one got my point see if you write directly question now see this is ch3 choh and ch3 and here you have to write k2 cr2 o7 and dilute h2so4 actually this should not given here because it may there is a chance to get here acids they should not give here uh, potassium dichromate they have to give here pcc or pdc whatever oxidation they have given means secondary alcohol oxidation you will get which one ketone and ketone is treated with the methyl magnesium iodide methyl magnesium iodide how to write the product here add the ch3 to the double bonded carbon and here add the double bonded carbon and double bond o should be converted into oh this is the final product and ch3 and here ch3 and oh you are getting this compound or not that is so you have to this from back side you have to come tertiary alcohol are getting means b should be a here and ketone then only you will get here tertiary alcohol and next ketone is coming by the oxidation of a means ketones coming means a is oxidizing and give the ketone means a should be a secondary alcohol that is your answer so your option is option what it is my here one and next one this is the questions from the level one now level two we will start question number one level two question number one an organic compound dissolved in a dry benzene evolved hydrogen on treated with the sodium clear an organic compound some compound compound a is dissolved in benzene and treated with na it releases hydrogen gas so they are asking what is that you already know that here whenever hydrogen attached to highly electronegative atom that is you know alcohol means hydrogen is attached to oxygen whenever we treat that type of compounds with the sodium and you know and hydrogen gas will be evolved hydrogen gas will be evolved clear so you will get here sodium alkoxide and which gas is released here hydrogen gas is released means when hydrogen should be attached to which one here oxygen then when treated those compounds with the metals and it releases the hydrogen gas so that's why what is your option here ketones no aldehydes no tertiary amines no so which one here here an alcohol second one question number two when ethyl alcohol and acetic acid the product formed is ethyl alcohol what is the formula of ethyl alcohol c2h5oh plus acid which acid acetic acid ch3 COOH this is which acid Mahia acetic acid now alcohol and acids esterification we have already studied alcohol and acid so what you will get ester you will get remove the H from the alcohol and OH from the acid then what you will get the compound you see CH3 and CO and 2O you have to add O C2H5 plus what you will get my ester what is this ester name ethyl acetate ethyl acetate clear plus what you are getting water so what is your op option here option 2 is the correct one esterification reaction whenever alcohol reacted with the acids in presence of acidic medium and it gives the ester plus water is known as a esterification clear next one third question number three methyl alcohol reacts with phosphorus trichloride to form methyl chloride you know this is alcohol whenever reacted with the phosphorus trihalides what is the reaction take the three moles here oh will be replaced by the chlorine so that's why and you will get ch3cl plus h3po3 we have discussed so many times when alcohol reacted with the phosphorus halides you will get the alkyl halides are the products so which one is the product here methyl chloride so that's why the option is option two is the correct one and the next one fourth question question number four and the oh group of methanol cannot be replaced by chlorine by the action of you know they are mentioned here alcohol is there oh 
and methyl alcohol they have given directly the OH group of methyl alcohol what is the formula of methyl alcohol ma CH3OH cannot be replaced by chlorine of action of first one it is a chlorine and the second one they have mentioned here HCl and the third one is PCl3 and fourth one yes uh, phosphorus pentachloride so you know CH3OH plus HCl what you will get OH and H will be removed you will get the methyl chloride and PCl3 just now only we have discussed here also you will get methyl chloride and water methyl chloride and H3PO3 and with the PCl5 also what you will get CH3Cl plus POCl3 plus HCl we have already discussed that not but with the Cl2 and OH group cannot be replaced why Cl2 cannot produce as the Cl minus nucleophile here what it is Cl minus will come attack and here also Cl minus will come and attack here and OH minus will be in. means all these can provide the nucleophile that is Cl minus ion clear so that's why this cl2 we don't have the reaction so the cl2 cannot be replaced with the oh group of which one here methanol 